guys. All right, I've talked to a couple of you guys and I want to do a video on this. <clears throat> In case I haven't made it clear, the trip to 5D is a very difficult one. Now, and I'm talking to star seeds here. I'm talking about my star seeds. Star seeds came since the 1940s in mass to help Gaia. A lot of the star seeds that came, everybody came to do a different job, okay? Star seeds that had jobs that weren't as deeply embedded in the third and fourth lower vibrations were able to use new age techniques and raise their vibrations and most of them are gone or on their way out. Those people are not the people I'm talking to. They need to go and do mantras and um, meditate lightly and they can raise their vibrations and they're fine. The star seeds that I am talking to are my people. The people who came to do the jobs that are deeply, deeply embedded in fixing the energy grids that are in the lowest, deepest, darkest vibrations. And they're very, very complex. Most of the star seeds that I'm talking to have been through a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma. Uh, they don't have to have gone through a lot of trauma for a long period of time, although frequently that has happened. Even the younger star seeds that are listening to me have been through intense trauma of some kind. That was necessary for you to get to the vibrations to do the job of helping Gaia the way you offered to do when you came here. Okay? Now, for star seeds that didn't go as deep and dark as you all have, it's easier to sort your way out and get back up to the higher vibrations. But anybody that I'm talking to, most of the people I'm talking to, you went deep, dark, complex um, vibrations. And it is it was tricky to get there. It was hard work. It hurt to do the job that we volunteered to do. And now to go home, you're not going to just say, oh, I want to go home, I want to go to 5D, it's done. No, it's not going to happen like that. Not for us. What you're going to have to do is put your eyes to the ground right in front of you and slowly slog your way through step by step, picking your way back out of this very complex, deep mess of vibrations to get to the higher vibrations. Okay? In that process, things are going to change. They're going to change tremendously. Now, Gaia is also raising her vibrations, so to reach higher in vibrations will become easier than it's ever been before. But you still have to do the work. You still have to slog your way through. You still have to let go of things. You have to lose the judgment. You have to um, understand that this is just a game to leave the lower vibrations behind. You cannot look back. You've got to understand that you've got to move forward because as you move forward through this intricate, multi-layer, multifaceted grid of energies to get to 5D, you're going to have to go back up through the stuff that you went down through to get the job done. Okay? So this is going to be a moment-to-moment, -moment, extremely difficult, full-time job to get you out of this. Okay? Now, that is what your original design is. Everybody that's listening to me, and I think everybody that will listen to me. You came for a lifetime. You wanted to come back up. Okay? Now, because all of this is so different than where we're from, and none of it makes any sense, to get back up, I mean, we were kind of taken down without our consent. We... We kind of preset that and then we kind of went with the flow and we went down to those lower vibrations. It was kind of a subconscious, un unconscious um, society telling us what to do that, that took us into the vibrations that we needed to go to. But consciously coming out of them is a whole different game. You can't do it just subconsciously and not thinking about it. You have to work your way back up. And that means considering most of you are in at least part of your life in very, very low vibrations, you have to learn to find the happier moments. I know none of it is happy here. I got that. You're, it's not going to be. 
your two lower vibrations and nothing on this planet, even in 5D, will come close to where you came from. It won't. You're not doing that. So give it up. Okay? What we're trying to do is get you from <coughs> hellacious vibrations in a creation that makes no sense to 5D where there's much, much higher vibrations and it won't be home, but it'll be relief. It'll be huge relief. Now, how do you get there? You get there moment to moment, step by step, staying on top of where you're, what you're feeling, following your instincts. And I wanted to let you guys know, if you can find a long-term human to hang around with, it will help. Long-term humans have been here for millennial, millions of lifetimes. They've gotten used to the lower vibrations. They're fairly good at looking at bad things without giving them energy and creating uh, more bad things. They could see the good things. Now you want a positive long-term human. You don't want a negative one like G-Man. It's the reason why I've got him here is so you guys can listen to him and see how he looks at life. So even though you can look at the exact same thing as he does, he can look at it and show you how to smile anyway. They are excellent at it. They are superb at it. They can sort through all of this ridiculous insanity and find a reason to smile and laugh anyway. So find you a long-term human and try to see things through their eyes moment to moment as you sort your way out of this. Okay? Um, G-Man is here. I mean, he's got his channel and you can go see him anytime you want. Uh, the man will talk about some, why, uh, some really bad conspiracies, but have you noticed that there's no energy that goes into it? He's simply stating a conspiracy. That's all. There's no emotional, even he can even act like he's really, really feeling strongly about it. But yet, if you're paying attention, there is no energy set out from him. That's simply an emotional response to get his point across. There's no energy sending out to the universe to create more. That's the ability that long-term humans have. And as you're walking out of 5D, you can use those people to look at what they're looking at, that they're smiling at, and see it from their perspective so that you can smile and have relief and be happier in the moment. Then take a step forward and take a step forward. Now, eventually in this step, you're going to get out far enough that with your friend, the long-term human that, say, wants to go to 5D, the first part of this, they're going to help you. And then when you get to a certain vibration, they're not going to be comfortable anymore. It'll be way outside of what they've experienced in, in the third dimension, lower fourth dimensions. And they're going to be looking at you, at which point you will recognize it from your home. And now you can show them how to look at happier and happier. And this combination helps. It helps. The same thing is true with all of you. All of you. If you would share your steps as you go along the way, you can show other people how to make those tiny little steps, where you failed, how you knew that you needed to make a step and you did it wrong. You went backwards, but then you corrected it and you did it this way. That is why I'm trying to get you guys to communicate. So like me, I can tell you my whole shebang and I try to, but I'm just one perspective. The more perspectives you hear, the different accounts and steps you hear, the more you can use them and try them out in your slogging out to 5D. This is a is work, guys. It is hard work to get out of this. But it's what you signed up for. It's what you agreed to do. And me talking to you is what I agreed to do. So, yeah, keep on keeping on. But you might think about uh, grabbing yourself a long-term human and buddying up with them on this ride because they can help you down below. You can help them up, up above. It's a pretty good match. Wouldn't marry one of them, but be a good friend to have. Okay. All right. Hopefully that will help some of you guys. Uh, all right. It's pretty cold up here. I have established that my threshold of comfort really is about 10 degrees to 90 degrees. Anything below 10, especially if the winds are blowing, I'd really rather not be outside. So that's part of the information I wanted to know. So when I travel in the bus, I'll know where I can go and what time of the year I can go and where I'm going to be at optimum happiness. Okay, just a little aside there. All right, guys, uh, I love you so much. Huge, huge, huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Maybe I'll cut you off.
Maybe I'll just stare at you and talk at you while I'm trying.